hi everyone welcome to my channel how are you doing all today I want to show you something um, I want to show you all the time my beautiful orchids which are blooming but I'm busy with my problems and these problems are important to show you than to show my blooming orchids these are on the first place maybe some people have this kind of problem that i have now that i am dealing with that i am fighting with and you i showed in my previous videos that i treated this um, orchids which i found from trash i washed them with dish soap to get rid of from millibugs but after some time I found out millibugs but uh, you cannot imagine where I found them uh, after I washed their leaves uh, their stem and I even washed the medium sphagnum moss with hot water um, I found millibugs again not on the leaves not on the stem but I found them on the flowers I will show you here you see these millibugs they are a lot and probably they are laying their eggs and becoming more and more and see how many of them uh, when I found these orchids, most of them, they were in buds, some of them, they were blooming, different kind of orchids I found from trash, and, you know, the mealybugs, they were not visible that time when I brought them home, they, uh, the, on the leaves I could see, but on the flowers I didn't see that time, now... Uh, they are developing these two orchids I separated I didn't treat them yet but all the rest of orchids uh, I treated with um, alcohol isopropyl alcohol um, and uh, first I was scared to apply on the flowers this alcohol but uh, I didn't have any choice. I didn't want to use any chemicals because they're a lot and I have small kids. If I use chemicals, my kids and me we ha will have to breathe in this house. That's why I didn't want to uh, harm ourselves. That's why I used alcohol on the flowers and this alcohol it kills immediately the eggs and the um, um, bugs which are visible huge ones it kills and i will show you how i spray this alcohol on the flowers and where you can find these millibugs where they hide i will show you everything now um, see they um they are sitting on the flowers and you see the lips these lips and behind the lips they are hiding and here in this place they are hiding this in this place if you have millibug problem with your orchids you have to check uh, and leaves and stem and flowers everything together um, you cannot read off them at the time I see that um, see here it's a lot I left these two orchids because I wanted to show you and in these two days they're getting more and more even and see these orchids I treated they were they had small buds when I brought home maybe they were spiking orchids that time and now they are in full bloom see 
here. In uh, this buds, when I was treating with alcohol, these uh, blooms, these flowers were in buds. And today I checked again because I know the habit of these smelly bugs. They go into these, you know, uh, buds and they lay eggs there and we cannot see them. And after they bloom, they become more and more and they suck the energy from these flowers. They suck juice from these flowers. Today I checked these uh, flowers again and I found some mealybugs. When they have mealybugs, they die fast. These flowers don't last long. See this mealybug here. Uh, when it, wa it was on the shelf, it was sitting here and I put on the table and right away I, you know, I was um, watching this and this bug, it moved and it hide it on, you know, under their lip. And when you see, when you look from this side, you cannot see anything. But now I know where, is, where it is hiding and see it's in the middle, in the center of the flower. It's hiding here, here. Now you see, yeah. And I thought that, you know, I was, I got rid of this smelly box. Now I see here, see two of them. And if we have mealybug problem, we have to uh, check them constantly. They love flowers. I see that um, on the stem, I didn't see any, see? This is not mealybug and here I checked everywhere, but I didn't see on the stem, but these um, mealybugs, they can go onto the stem also because when you want to take them with to speak or something, they fall, you know, like they fall like apples, they uh, like how apples, apple fruits fall from the tree. They fall like that. And in any, uh, if you want to take them out from the, when they are on the shelf, uh, you cannot do that because they fall on other flower and they will hide right away. You cannot find it. That's why if you see mealybugs on your flower, it's better to take it uh, to separate place and treat it. And here, these buds were small when uh, two days ago I uh, when I was uh, treating them with alcohol and today I saw I found out mealybug which is hiding in the bud see it's here here see how it's in sitting inside and they lay eggs in this um, buds maybe uh, you know in between this uh, flower lines here you know and it's small tiny eggs we we cannot see that and they suck suck the juice from the flower and see how it's moving it started moving now because danger is approaching maybe he will f hide he will move inside the flower and I cannot find it, okay? Right away I will treat it with alcohol. See here I have isopropyl alcohol and I will put in in spray bottle. I will put it some, I don't need much. At the beginning I was scared that I can harm my flowers if I spray alcohol it will burn the flowers and I 
you know I took br paint brush small paint brush where which with which we paint um, I, s I took small brush and I brushed these flowers when I saw the mealybugs and after some days I saw again and that way didn't work that's why I decided to use alcohol on these flowers and I see that it doesn't harm that's why I'm sharing with you this method if you have this kind of problem you can use this method it's not harming see how I'm applying it here I have millibug and it will turn brown when I spray it see do you see? can you see this okay here see I have bug and I am spraying it see how it's right away turned brown and now I can take it with toothpick oh, see how it turned brown and now easily I can take it with toothpick see and it's dead it cannot move anymore even I cannot uh, clean it with toothpick I can leave it here but it doesn't look nice I don't like these bugs that's why I want to remove them from the flower and I have to check this flower again when these buds start blooming I will check them again and see here I have two of them I have two of them see this probably they're dead you know because I probably I didn't clean uh, they seem dead yeah they're dead yeah when I I treated with alcohol and I didn't clean yeah they're dead see and here I have mm, life one and see it's hiding under the lip of the orchid here and I will spray it see it turned brown and I will remove it all of these flowers I treated with alcohol and the eggs and the big um, bugs they die with alcohol and what is good it doesn't burn the flowers that I like you know I don't want these uh, bugs spread again on my orchids and that's why I'm checking every day here is that one which I didn't remove I sprayed alcohol and I left it probably I didn't clean clean properly and we are done with these two ones and here I have too many of them I separated this orchid and I will show you how many bugs I can remove from this orchid see I spray like this all these flowers and see how they are dying right away I like it I didn't have any choice than to use this alcohol um, because they are killing my flowers it's better if I burn these flowers than to let die my orchid it can bloom if it's healthy it can bloom later see and I have to spray on the back side of the flowers also here see they are sitting in here and do you see how they die right away they are dead and look at this here is a lot when you don't spray alcohol 
you don't see this bugs because they look white and when you spray they turn brown and here is a lot you see how many of them are here do you see this probably five six of them huge ones and here no it's not there and see it it's here And I said, I can, I, if I will burn these flowers, it's okay. What can I do? I can do it. I cannot do anything. If the orchid is healthy, it, it can bloom for me soon. Here. See how I am taking out this. Even with hose, I can wash these orchids after spraying alcohol, but I am showing you how you can do if you live in apartment or you don't you don't have hose and see in the sink I don't know if you we can clean this uh, box. See how I'm spraying and I spray back side of the flower also like this and see a lot look at this look at this how many of them are here see And all of my orchids, I did the same thing. I cleaned them, but they didn't have as much as this orchid has. They didn't have many. But this one has a lot. And I wanted to see after spraying alcohol, I wanted to see if these flowers will fade or die. No, they didn't die. And that's why I am sharing this method with you. It's easiest way. If you don't want to wash your orchid, how I did last time, you can use this method it's easier than washing in the sink but when you wash you clean the orchid leaves and you can get rid of um, these bugs i see how it's hiding i killed uh, two rabbits with one bullet that time that's why i washed them anyway i wash I wanted to wash them that's why see it's too many here look at this and they are dying here you know behind the slip they are hiding and they're sucking energy from these flowers and that's why these flowers day by day becoming ugly 
they last long four or five months if these flowers are healthy but see in this short time these bugs killing these flowers you see now these flowers are looking more happy probably they're thanking me that I'm helping them see how bad these bugs are I never ha had mealybugs in my orchids with these trash orchids I see that they can attack orchids also I couldn't even imagine that they can live in orchids and I didn't even I couldn't even imagine that orchids can be sick with uh, fungus disease because with, when you don't have this, that kind of problem you cannot imagine and see how they are sitting behind the flower you see it's white now and when I spray, you will see lots of them here. Probably, probably they were eggs. Now it's invisible when I spray it with alcohol, it's invisible. See, I think they were eggs only. And I couldn't take, yeah, here is big one. See? and let's check here you see this white thing it look like cotton or spider web i don't know how to explain you here see and i will spray and i will, will see how many are here probably the eggs also only one huge here see It's too many in this flower and let's turn this way and check inside what's going on here here see it's a lot and this uh, alcohol is safe for the leaves if you have mealy bugs on the leaves you can spray on the leaves and on the stem these mealy bugs I told you that they fall like apples and they fall on the orchids when they were on the shelf when I was uh, brushing them with paint brush and then I stopped after that I stopped that they can fall I didn't know that they can fall and I had to treat the stem and the leaves also after that and it doesn't burn even new growing leaf it doesn't burn I thought that it can harm the orchid no it didn't harm that's why I'm sharing with you I never share something which I didn't try myself if it works for me I share see they have they are everywhere and you have to check carefully all the stem and see and here see how they are hiding where they are see on this uh, flower it's sitting in the i don't know how to call this uh, part here it's sitting see here inside of this thing lots of them are hiding here let me spray again like this maybe here they have eggs okay I took this uh, flower will fade 
because I took this part when you propagate orchid you propagate with this part you know I know how to seed the orchids how to make them to seed and I think I'm done with this flower I cleaned it and I forgot to spray in the place where the flowers were where uh, you know the flowers fall in and they are in this place in this kind of place they lay eggs also I didn't spray this place yet see here I will show you what I'm talking about here in this place they lay eggs also if you can see it's in here here I have to spray the stem flower spike here see I will spray it all and heal this way and even you know if you put the alcohol in the center of the uh, leaf it's it's not gonna harm I did it already and there were small uh, growing leaves and alcohol doesn't burn them also it's safe you know even for the new leaves see how it's uh, it's going deep between the leaves and it gets dry very fast and with this orchid I will do the same thing I will spray the here see it's a lot in here if you can see small small millibugs tiny millibugs maybe 10 of them are here see when I spray alcohol they become invisible and I don't know what to remove even see they are not coming to, to space to speak see, it's tiny tiny small invisible but they're here and see these flowers here see huge one is sitting Now I'm gonna spray all the flowers, even dead ones. See, yeah, dead ones I can remove even. And then I, I can clean. I showed you the what you can do. And I will do the same thing which I did with this ones. And I'm spraying here back side and the front like this see they lay eggs they are small tiny invisible we cannot see them done even the leaves see I put alcohol on the leaves it's too much and see how many bugs I took from this one flower from only one see can you imagine they're all dead now and I did with all of them the same thing which I did with this one and can you imagine how long it takes you know to clean all of them now you see this flower is looking more happy see I could treat this also but I wanted to show you and that's why I left this two of them 
Now see how it's clean and happy. Yeah, we never know what is gonna happen with our flowers. Always when you grow flowers, you have some problem. And maybe people think that I share only problems. Yes, I have problems. That's why I share with you my problems. <laughs> if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to discuss more problems with me. I will discuss with you. And also don't forget to put thumbs up if you, don't, if you like this video. And happy gardening. Thank you for watching. Bye.